Hi, my name is Joshua. Today, I'd like to talk to you about brain injury and discuss some ways that might help to reduce your risk for sustaining another injury in the future. First, we'll discuss how your brain works before and after a brain injury. Then, we'll show you how drugs and alcohol can affect people with brain injuries and the many reasons why using substances like alcohol and drugs after a brain injury are a bad idea. It's important for you to take time to watch this program. Think about the information presented and consider how you'll apply what you learned today to your life. Knowing what you know about your history of brain injury, you can make the choice to stop using alcohol or drugs. So let's get started. A healthy human brain has millions of cells called neurons. These neurons are the communication centers of the brain, and they transmit information that tells the body what to do, like move, think, and make decisions. These transmissions control everything you do, from walking and talking to problem solving and remembering things. They also control your feelings and attitudes. After a brain injury, these neurons become damaged or broken. Some areas of the brain become less active and fail to transmit important information. Even though some connections are broken at the time of injury, they may still be able to heal. Using alcohol and drugs increases your risk of getting a brain injury. After an injury, the brain reacts differently to alcohol and other drugs. Research lets us know that alcohol, drugs, and brain injury are a risky combination. One in five hospitalized with brain injuries were drunk when they had their injury. Two in five adults who need rehabilitation for their injury were high when it happened. After a brain injury, five to 10% of those people will develop substance abuse problems for the first time. After one brain injury, the chances of getting another injury is three times greater. When your brain is recovering from an injury, it is relearning by making new connections between neurons. Using alcohol or drugs after brain injury can interfere with new connections. That can create big problems. Adding drugs or alcohol to an already injured brain can negatively impact you in a number of ways. Depending on how your brain was hurt by a TBI or traumatic brain injury, it might take longer for your brain to recover if you use alcohol or drugs. Even after your brain has mostly recovered, if you use alcohol or drugs after a brain injury, you still might have trouble with walking and talking, or you might do and say things without thinking. Some people find that they are more forgetful or can't perform duties at work or at home. Your mood could be affected too. Using alcohol and drugs might make you feel depressed or irritable. Drinking or using drugs after a brain injury can make you a bad decision maker. You may be more likely to make risky choices and participate in dangerous behaviors like driving while intoxicated or getting into fights. These behaviors place you at risk for getting another brain injury. Let's take a closer look at some common problems linked to drinking and drug use after a brain injury. Depression is a common side effect of a brain injury. It might be the effect of the brain injury, or it might be the result of changes in your life after the injury that leads you to feel depressed. You might feel alone or like avoiding people. Maybe you think that others don't understand what you've gone through. Sometimes people turn to alcohol and attempt to make depression go away. They say it makes them more relaxed and less worried. But you should know that alcohol depresses the brain and that depresses you. You may think alcohol and other drugs will give you a lift, but in the long run, they are a major downer. There are other more effective ways of dealing with depression, like counseling and medication. You don't need alcohol. If you need help, talk with your doctor. Another challenge that frequently occurs after a brain injury are problems in thinking and learning. You may have experienced more difficulty in finding the words that you want to use, or maybe you have a harder time concentrating or paying attention. Oftentimes, people experience forgetfulness or feel like they can't do more than one thing at a time without getting confused. Alcohol and other drugs greatly interfere with one's ability to think and learn new things. Using alcohol or drugs with your brain injury just makes thinking that much harder. Have you ever heard of the phrase, good idea, bad idea? It refers to that little filter in your brain that says, yeah, that's good to say out loud, or wait, that might be taken the wrong way. Better keep that to myself. That little voice in your head keeps you from making reckless comments. Could hurt you or the people you care about. Drinking even a small amount of alcohol can make a big difference. After you have been drinking, you might say something without thinking, or you might have difficulty expressing yourself to the ones you care about most. Saying things you don't really want to can hurt others and place your relationship at risk. Let's take a look. What are we watching? I don't know. How about that one movie we talked about, that new comedy? Seriously, that movie looks stupid. 
you said you'd watch it with me. You know, you always want to watch the dumbest movies. What makes you think I want to watch that stuff? See that. Honey, wait. Let's recap what we've just learned. The brain takes longer to heal if alcohol and drugs are involved. Using can cause even greater consequences and may even be more dangerous to you and your loved ones. If you are using alcohol and or other drugs, talk to your doctor. Discuss treatment options. Avoiding alcohol and other drugs leads to better recovery, better thinking, better balance and coordination, better speech, and less chances of depression, seizure, and another brain injury. It also leads to less risk behaviors in the future. Using drugs and alcohol after a brain injury can have a major impact on you, your loved ones, and your quality of life. Now that you know the facts, consider the consequences in your own life. You are the only one in charge of you. With the information you've learned today about alcohol, drugs, brain injury, and risky behavior, the choice is yours to make. Your brain will thank you, and so will your friends and family. Thanks for watching.